What's going on traders? This is going to be a very short video about how to make Sierra chart dark themed in Windows 11. Um, it is July of 2022 and according to how Windows 11's Windows 11 operates right now, uh, this would way, be the way to get your Sierra chart with a dark theme. What I mean by a dark theme is I mean a dark theme that finally you can actually go ahead and click here go into a chart show title bar it is also dark right and this you're not really going to have to install much on this method okay so you know everything's going to be dark right if you go in here it's going to be dark right you see the light blue outline so it's easy to read okay and so you don't have to install anything funky or too crazy or anything like that. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. We're going to right click on your desktop. You're going to go into personalize. We're going to go in here to the personalization. It should be already selected. Scroll down until you get to themes. Go ahead and go into contrast themes. And now Essentially, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be uh, downloading and installing a high contrast theme. You're going to open up your browser and search for Gray Eve theme. Okay. You can go to DeviantArt. DeviantArt is going to point you to the GitHub. All right. Go ahead and click on this GitHub. All this is is a dark contrast theme. So all you do, instead of downloading, just as it says, right click, save as, go ahead and download it, right? I've already downloaded it earlier this week, right? So wherever you put it, this PC downloads, again, we're in Windows 11. So if it's in downloads, you're done. Go ahead and download it, okay? Then you're gonna go in here to your downloads. You're gonna find it, which it's gray you think. You're just gonna double click this, okay? All right, this security warning thing is going to pop up. Go ahead and hit open. Go through all of that. And it is going to go ahead and install here on your high contrast. When you come over here to the high contrast, it's going to be already installed. It's not going to look exactly like all of this. Okay. You're going to go in to the theme that's already installed. You're going to hit edit. And when you hit edit, you go ahead and you change these backgrounds. So the background, black, text sort of this off-white, okay? You can see here, black round, you can just copy this. Pause the screen if you have to. This one is this color, All right? This will do the high, for the highlight, the hyperlinks, that helps for readability. Inactive text, a little bit darker, okay? So here's the hex code, I think it's, that's what it's called. Selected text, that's again, same code. This one's black. Button text, it's a little darker. 1A, 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 and then the same A, D, A, D, A, D. <laughs> and then you're going to go ahead and save it as, give it a theme name, and you're done. Go ahead and apply it, and you'll be good to go. When you open up a Sierra chart, everything will be dark themed. And that's it. It's as easy as that. Now, if you're like, well, wait a second, that's really fine and dandy. But, um, you know, can I use a different thing? Sure you could, right? You can go in here. We'll just change it real fast so you can see. Um, we'll go to themes, or real slow, depending on how you view my speed here. Uh, you can go into the contrast themes. So you can go ahead and change it to, uh, if you want, aquatic. Go ahead and apply it. Look. Well, that's, that's ugly as heck, isn't it? Right? I think so. Right? And then that way, every time you're selected in Sierra Chart, it's yellow, right? It's not quite the craziness that the other one is, right? Maybe maybe this is your jam. I don't know. Um, but that's not my jam. I don't, I don't really like this, this color. Some of it's dark, some of it's not. Uh, let's see. That's one of the darker ones. There's a black one. Again, we'll go back to personalize. We'll go back to themes. I believe it's this one. 
go ahead and apply it. That's it. That's done. It's um, it's all dark themed out. Now, of course, are there other settings here in the global settings, graphic settings to get all the stuff in Sierra chart looking the way you want it? Absolutely. Because you got to get all your chart backgrounds, your trade window background. So I'm going to go ahead and go through that really fast. And I'm going to just um, show you every single setting color real quick. All right, ready? Here we go. You may have to pause your screen. Elevator music. So this is an important one, general window, text window, background color, foreground color, highlight color, grid text color. It's slightly less than black is what that is. Just like kind of charcoaly. Anyway, link numbers aren't important. Control bar, enable button, important. Disable button, important. Button default background, important. Control bar background, important. Not so important. It's all preference in terms of colors. All these statuses are not that important. All right, list box header, important. Divider color, yes. All these time and sales backgrounds, right? That's just depends how you want to do it. The trades background, I like it black, right? So this is off. All the time and sales stuff is how do you want it to look? But this will matter, right? The The backgrounds, right? above ask and at ask trades backgrounds, right? That that will matter. Main window background, black, that matters. The crosshair, right? Essentially, um, you know, that's preference. Maybe you want that white. I like mine orange. So this is settings windows. These are, I don't know if they're that important. Uh, yeah, I don't know that they're that important. I, I don't know if the Regardless, okay. Settings windows, no colors. So this is for the new settings windows. I think. Yeah, highlight color, yes, no. Read only. But background color. So these will be important for you to get. Um, here, I'll show you. This would be a, a important for like chart settings, the new settings windows, to make it look like this. So buttons are always red. No settings are always red. Um, and yes, settings are always blue, right? And I think this pops. So like the header, like each the title sections, a little bit lighter, and uh, where you edit or can select things, right? Here, see that? Just a single click, it changes it. Anyway, so that's affected by what we were just looking at there in global settings. So global settings, graphic settings, global. Let's go scroll down. We were at the settings windows. Let's see. Here, right? You can see how that changes this stuff, right? The button, right? The bucket button background color. You can see it's right here. Anyway, settings windows, read only description. Uh, foreground, background colors. Um, this is for like essentially read-only parts of the settings windows, like performance. It's got some read-only. See that? It's grayed out. This should be grayed out too, in my opinion, but Sierra so chart doesn't gray it out. It's not selectable. It's just inconsistencies from here to here. But whatever. Anyway, um, there's the background color. So that's useful in getting these things all black as well. Okay. So. These chart windows, contacts, background color, or chat windows, I don't use any of that. But, you know, if you use chat windows and chat to other Sierra chart participants, anyway, by column backgrounds, by column lines, right? So we'll go through this slow. Chart, DOM, colors.
Oh my gosh, so many settings. Trade window. That's an important one. Trade window is the uh, the window that you attach up to the charts up here. Um, right, it'll pop up when you're in chart trade mode or in, on your DOM. So you want the background of that to be the right color. So, you know. Chart trade window buy button color, right? That's the buy button, the text of that. So that'll make a difference. Um, so chart trading orders inputted, chart trading order. I mean, a lot of this is all preference. But you can look at how I've set mine up. Yeah. If you like how mine looks on some of my, uh, on some of my live streams and stuff, then go for it. Copy all of it. I, it's all good. Trade down background color. That'll matter. Man, I hate this part of this video. I hate it. It's tedium, crazy tedium. Sixteen minutes of tedium. Oh yeah, yeah. Thing is, is not all of these settings do I even use. Quote board background, black, okay, that'll matter. Blank row background, black, that'll matter. Blank row, uh, label row background, that'll matter, right? Like a charcoal color. Foreground text, that'll matter. Huh, grid lines, uh, like a dark charcoal, that'll matter to make your quote board look a little bit nicer. Quote board selected symbol. This looks actually really good like this with the red. Selected border highlight, that looks good too. <clears throat> A lot of this doesn't matter, but it could if you're using market depth uh, to trade stocks and whatnot. So spreadsheet, uh, default background color, that'll matter if you use spreadsheets. Spreadsheet grids, it's the, the uh, dark charcoal. And that's it. Um, fonts. If you want what I've got up here, it kind of looks like Ubuntu Mono. I use Consolus across the board. I use Consolus, um, I use number eight bold, right? So that gets me the right size. So there you go. Anyway, there's your uh, Sierra Chart Dark theme. If you guys uh, enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, smash it. That's how it really helps the channel. And uh, hopefully this helps some of you guys get your Sierra Chart uh, Dark themed. And as usual, probably should have said this at the very beginning of the video, but if you've downloaded something, you do so at your own risk. Um, I happen to know that dark gray theme, uh, gray eve theme has been around for a long, long, long time. Um, I'm fairly comfortable with it, but you know, you take the risk yourself. So anyway, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great weekend. Take care.